At eight years old, Sam Altman was playing around with an Apple Macintosh LC computer. Unknown to him, his odd birthday gift would trigger his curiosity about tech gadgets and set him on a path toward becoming one of Silicon Valley's most influential figures. Nowadays, startup minting guru is gracing the pages of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People and fronting several tech startups and projects, including the world-famous Chat GPT. But how exactly did a college dropout become the poster boy of Silicon Valley? Join us in this exciting video as we narrate the inspiring story of Sam Altman, the $30 billion man behind OpenAI's journey to immortality. Born in Chicago on the 22nd of April, 1985, Sam Altman is one of the most important and influential tech entrepreneurs alive. His early education and high school studies were completed at John Burroughs School. However, like other tech bigwigs like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and Mark Zuckerberg, Altman made his grand entrance into the tech world as a college dropout in 2005, after he quit his computer science degree at Stanford University. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Altman kicked off his tech career with a bang when he launched Looped, his first ever tech invention. Imagine just being 20 years old and creating a revolutionary location-based social media app that would change the way humans connect with themselves. Well, that's exactly what Sam Altman did. He is not just a tech guru. He has always been a visionary, a trailblazer, and a force to be reckoned with, right from his early 20s up until this moment. Despite stiff competition from social media giants like Twitter and Facebook, Altman Looped app attracted 30 billion dollars in venture capital and just a few years later he sold it for a jaw-dropping 43.4 million dollars to Green Dot Corporation but that was just the beginning of Altman's journey to greatness while working part-time at Y Combinator Altman made huge contributions so much so that he was named the president of the company by co-founder Paul Graham in no time he transitioned from being a nerd to an investor, pouring his expertise and resources into startups like Airbnb, Asana, Dropbox, Reddit, and Pin Interest, among many others. Altman's impact was vital in transforming these companies into industry leaders and driving innovation throughout the entire tech industry. But more importantly, Altman's rise to stardom has had such a positive impact on the startup ecosystem, creating a culture of innovation that continues to thrive even today. In retrospect, there are several moments that highlight Sam Altman's creative and forward-thinking approach. However, his lofty achievements during his short tenure as CEO of Reddit is perhaps the biggest evidence of his ingenuity. Despite only holding the position for eight days, Altman's visionary move to allow Reddit community members to own a part of the company was a game changer that increased the popularity of the platform and set it on a trajectory of explosive growth. Ironically, Sam was the same person who announced Steve Huffman's return as the Reddit CEO on July the 10th, 2015. However, he made many vital contributions to the company's success, which he later highlighted in his book, How to be successful. Altman's ability to think outside the box and his unwavering commitment to innovation have made him a trendsetter in the tech industry. He's not afraid to take risks and experiment with new ideas. And that's one of the things that really sets him apart from the rest. Interestingly, Sam Altman isn't the only tech nerd in his family. While Sam is widely known for his numerous successful startups, his brother Jack is a powerhouse in his own right as the co-founder and CEO of Lattice, a company that's been shaking up the tech world. Perhaps unexpectedly, these two brilliant minds joined forces in 2012 to create Hydrazine Capital, a venture capital firm that invests in a wide range of sectors, from education to speciality foods to enterprise software. While this was happening, Sam announced a grand plan to expand why combinators reach across the tech industry and beyond. For example, his goal of funding 1,000 new companies per year, this ambitious plan led to the birth of the YC Group, an umbrella organization that oversees Y Combinator's investments. Furthermore, Sam also founded the YC Community, a growth stage equity fund that has generated 
generated an astonishing $700 million. However, his generosity didn't stop there. He donated $10 million towards the development of a non-profit research lab called One Combinator Research, further cementing his commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the tech industry. Despite dropping out of Stanford University, Sam Altman returned 10 years later to teach a class on how to start a startup, and the accolades just kept pouring in. In 2017, the University of Waterloo recognized Sam Altman's incredible achievements by awarding him an honorary degree. It was a fitting tribute to a man who had accomplished so much in such a short time. Sam Altman's stint as CEO of Y Combinator was quite impactful, but he resigned in 2019 and assumed the role of chairman, a position he was expected to hold for many years. However, as with all good things, his time with Y Combinator eventually came to an end in 2020. After leaving Y Combinator, he co-founded WorldCoin during the cryptocurrency boom, but even when the project didn't reach its expected heights, Sam did not dwell on it for too long. Instead, he set his sights on his next venture, OpenAI. As a co-founder and co-chairman of this artificial intelligence startup, he joined forces with a team of established entrepreneurs and researchers to push the limits of what AI could achieve. Together, they've secured an impressive $1 billion in funding to fuel their work. But even with such a talented team behind him, Sam faced challenges. In 2018, Elon Musk, one of the biggest names on the OpenAI board, expressed concern that the project was falling behind Google. The Tesla boss proposed a takeover that would see him run the affair of the startup 100%. The proposal was firmly rejected by Sam Altman and other founders. In response, Musk reneged on a massive donation he had pledged to the startup. Consequently, Musk announced his departure from the project on February 20, 2018. Musk's exit left OpenAI needing help to pay the astronomical fees required to train AI models on supercomputers, not to mention that the tech billionaire had already convinced one of OpenAI's best heads, Andre Carpathy, to join Tesla. At this point, things were beginning to look bleak for the startup, but somehow Sam Altman and the other founders were able to steady the ship. OpenAI was set to become a prominent research tool that would change the general perception of humans about artificial intelligence and technology in general. But at the time, the name OpenAI was just another buzzword many people didn't care about. However, under Sam's leadership, ChatGPT and AI Chatbox, developed by OpenAI, became one of the most popular tech innovations in the world. Within days of its launch, ChatGPT had already attracted over a million users, and within two months, that number had exploded to over a hundred million active users. This made ChatGPT the fastest growing platform in history, leaving social media giants like Instagram and TikTok in the dust. This means ChatGPT holds the record for the fastest growing user database in history, and it's all thanks to the brilliant of Sam Altman and everyone involved in the development of OpenAI. Microsoft recently announced a multi-billion dollar monetary and cloud computing investment into OpenAI. Since its inception, OpenAI has offered businesses, freelancers, and even societies at large a new range of technological possibilities backed by artificial intelligence. Aside from providing unprecedented advancements in natural language processing, NLP, and intuitive open AI systems, it has also helped to improve efficiency and productivity by allowing business owners to automate repetitive tasks. In addition, it has driven great advancements in virtual and augmented reality, while enhancing predictive analytics and improving customer service delivery. However, questions around cost, complexity, flexibility, limited interoperability, and ethical concerns are some of the issues that Sam Altman and his team would need to rectify to guarantee the project's long-term stability. Beyond his work at OpenAI, Sam Altman is affiliated with nuclear energy energy companies such as Helion and Oclo. He has also been honored with numerous accolades, including being named one of the top young tech entrepreneurs by Business Week magazine in 2008. Forbes magazine listed him as one of the leading investors under 30 in 2015, while Paul Graham ranked him as one of the five most captivating startups. With all these accolades, it's no doubt that Sam Altman's contributions to the tech industry are nothing short of remarkable.
With all these accolades in the bag, there's no gainsaying that Sam Altman's contributions to the tech industry are nothing but remarkable. He's achieved so much that it's difficult to capture it all in one video. But nonetheless, it's safe to say his legacy in the tech space is assured for generations to come. What do you think? Is Sam Altman the greatest tech genius of the 21st century? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more authentic stories from the most influential people and top brands.